Whenever you're working with numbers in Excel, there are a lot of options that yeah, you can choose from. So, for example, if you want to change this into a percentage, you can simply click over here. So that changes into percentage right there. You want to change this into dollar, you can simply press this right here. So there are other currencies that you can choose from, just like this as well. So Chinese uh, currency over there, English currency, pound over there, and so forth. Uh, if you want to go for more accounting formats, you can also go over here. And you can see that there are a lot of uh, symbols, accounting symbols that are actually taken to place. So you can have the symbol place over here, increase this right here, or decrease this right here, and press OK, and there are no decimal numbers right here. You can also do this by pressing right here. So you can uh, increase the decimal numbers or decrease the decimal number right here. So usually we don't use decimal numbers these days or you don't, you're not using cents or so forth. Then you actually uh, disable. You do not want to show the decimal numbers at all. So you can also go over here and you can see that the dollar sign is actually at the le uh, left right here. So you can left align this uh, just like this. So you can actually the left line you can see that only this actually changes right there you can also change this go to more accounting numbers you can go to number currency and so forth and press ok right here and see you can see that if you have to go to more accounting numbers and instead of accounting you choose currency over here then the symbol just like this and press ok that actually changes so it actually gets aligned with uh, the number itself right there you can also add a manual number right here. You can go to more accounting formats. Let's say you want to add in something else like English. There are a lot of currencies that you can choose from. Let's say you have the rupees and so forth. You got the RS uh, just like this. All right, so you got the rupees right here. So you can see that they change according to uh, the a format that you choose over here so these are different settings that you can choose right there you, got, you can also go over here and go for special numbers like let's say you want to use phone number and so forth and press ok so it actually goes into the phone number format right here so if you were to type in something right over here uh, something like this like numbers so since this is in a phone number format you can see that phone number actually appears right there you can also go over here and different more accounting formats so you can go for numbers you can go for general numbers right here there are currency that that we use that's date and time which we're going to see in further lessons there are fractions which you can use and so forth so there's text or there's custom over here you can choose different type of uh, settings right here as you can see right here so let's say for example when you use this press ok you see that it is there right there you can also use commas if you want to so if you were to select this one right here then it actually applies commas to the numbers as well uh, along with the number regular numbers that you have so these are the different settings available for you to format the numbers uh, you should check the, this out and find the one that works for you for your calculations and for the reason uh, of your calculations, the standard uh, format for your reason itself. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.